Well, here comes Meander. She's a 58-foot cruiser-style narrowboat built in 2003 by Liverpool Boats and fitted out by Peter Haynes. She was last blacked in 2020, so she's probably due a blacking. She was also fully repainted by the owner in 2020 as well. The pram and cratch covers were new in 2022. They're in good condition. And the engine was last serviced in summer 2022 and hasn't been cruised much since. On the roof there, we've got 100 watts of solar. They keep your batteries topped up walk along here there are seven bus style ho opening hoppers and three 16 inch opening portholes glazed front doors as well which you'll look at shortly the well deck there is three foot eight You've got the gas in the forward locker it's two 13 kilo gas bottles and we step in lockers either side and a folding table there Nice for four people to sit out here and eat, eat your dinner on a summer's evening. That front panel just unzips so you can get easy access to your gas locker. There we are, that just folds up there. It's quite a lot of this pine tongue and groove throughout the boat. She's fitted out with it um, in the bedroom and corridor and it's painted in the saloon. Hull sides are carpet. Stepping into the saloon, the saloon is a whopping 16 foot five. Lighting on board is LED throughout and the head height is 6 foot 4. Two of these captain's chairs with their matching footstools. It's a villager, solid fuel stove, storage in that forward step, next to some bookcases. There's quite a lot of storage on board this boat in various different capacities. Got an 18 inch Alba TV there and that's on top of an encased radiator. It's a two-person dinette here and another, I don't know whether that's a bookcase or a storage unit, whatever you want to use it for. There we are, another look down the saloon. The saloon is quite open plan, most of your storage starts in the galley. Galley here is 9 foot 8. You've got a 12 volt shoreline fridge. Plenty of cupboards and built-in drawers. It's a two-burner gas hob there. It's a stainless steel sink with cupboards underneath that. Water filter there on the on the tap. These just lift out. There we are. It's a Belling eye-level oven and grill, and underneath that is a 12-volt shoreline fri freezer. So you've got a fridge and a freezer on board this boat, so she's ideal for liverboards. Are you going to show that, James? No, there's the Aldi Comfort gas boiler, and there's a side hatch as well. There's a fly screen and a rain screen for that side hatch, it's bringing in plenty of light and fresh air. More cupboards along this side and some drawers. There we are, make sure you open them all, James. Keep the YouTubers happy there. You've got a cupboard above that, and there's also a little toaster on board. Plenty of uh, cooking facilities. It's a nice little spice rack on the wall, actually. I missed that. There we are, that's a look down the galley. Next is the off corridor bathroom. Bathroom is five foot seven. There's a sliding door here. It's a ceramic seated cassette loo, ceramic wash basin over a vanity unit, cupboards above. There's storage and laundry space next to the shower, and you've got a square shower with a shower curtain across. Everything that you need in here. We've had a, a few boats recently with laundry spaces. I think it's great that there's actual space for it. Bedroom is 10 foot 5. There is storage under that bed. That's a cross bed. It's 6 foot 1 by 5 foot 10. I suppose you could have it lengthways if you wanted to, if you're quite short. Storage under here, above here even, with uh, reading lights under. It's a whopping amount of wardrobe space here actually. So you've got 
covered space here and then on this side you've got a really large wardrobe with a chest of drawers inside it so you've got your hanging rail as I said when we first came onto the boat just absolutely loads of storage it's ideal for liverboard life in that respect if you wanted a washing machine on board this is probably where you'd put it either in one of these cupboards or potentially in the galley and then steps up out onto the stern deck the stern deck is 7 foot 11 the Isuzu 35 engine is housed below I did mention that that was serviced in summer 2022 your batteries are in here as well there are four 105 amp hour domestics with a separate starter and there is the view from the helm so as we walk back through there is a Victron 3 kilowatt inverter charger on board and a SDMO Neo 2000 generator. The galvanic isolator and landline are also installed. She is centrally heated by the Aldi Comfort gas fired boiler connected to three radiators. That was actually reconditioned in 2019. And hot water is via the engine, the Aldi, or an immersion. She has a 680 litre integral water tank and a 180 litre integral fuel tank. And there we have it. That is Meander. For further photos, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, visit our website at rugbyboats.co.uk.